Does a bear shit in the woods? Well, of course a bear shits in the woods. Where else does it go? There's no restrooms out here. There's no McDonald's. There's no freaking Starbucks. So, yes, a bear does shit in the woods. We use this expression when someone asks you a question and the answer is obvious. For example, is Canada cold? Does a bear shit in the woods? Look what I'm wearing. Of course it's cold. Hey Ronan, do you like coffee? Does a bear shit in the woods? When do you ever see me without a coffee? Does a bear shit in the woods? Use this to answer a very obvious question. You're welcome. John is in deep shit. Deep shit. Because Mary caught John doing something he shouldn't have been doing. John was eating chocolate when the two of them are actually meant to be doing a diet together. Mary's not happy. Mary's angry. Mary is furious. Therefore, we can say John is in deep shit. John is in a lot of trouble. Because Mary found out he betrayed her. He ate chocolate when they're on a diet together. That's forbidden. So therefore, John is not in a little trouble. John is in a lot of trouble. And when a person is in a lot of trouble, they are in deep shit. Are you ready to learn a random expression in English? Here we go. And today's random expression is shit-faced. My God, I love this book. If you are shit-faced, you are absolutely drunk. It is an extreme adjective for drunk. Very, very, very drunk. For example, last night I was absolutely shit-faced. I drank six shots of tequila, then I blacked out, but apparently I drank a lot more. Today, I feel like shit. You need to be careful. If you drink any more, you are going to be shit-faced. You are going to be very drunk. So, if you are shit-faced, that is an extreme adjective for very, very drunk. I love random expressions. I was watching that movie yesterday and I shit myself. Not actually. To shit yourself. To shit yourself is an expression that we use to describe when we were very afraid of something, when we were terrified of something. If I say I shit myself when I was watching that movie, that means I was very scared. I was driving the car in the snow and I skidded and I absolutely shit myself. I was terrified I was going to crash and die. So, if you shit yourself, you're very afraid. I always shit myself watching horror movies. I probably shouldn't do it. Now, it's not literal. Let's get that straight. Figurative. To shit yourself, to be afraid. Good morning. All right, so today's informal expression is as happy as a pig in shit. My name is Ronan and I am as happy as a pig in shit because this Friday there's no school. Think about it guys. Am I a little happy or very happy? Of course I'm very happy. I have a four day work week. Now let's think about a pig. If a pig is rolling around in dirt, in mud, in shit, is that pig a little happy or very happy? Guys, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but pigs love shit. So therefore, I am, I have the same happiness as a pig that's rolling around this shit. And that's where the expression comes from. So, the expression, I am as happy as a pig in shit. When is the last time you were as happy as a pig in shit? If I won a million dollars, I would be as happy as a pig in shit. Good morning! Talking shit. Do you know anybody that likes to talk a lot of shit? 
if a person talks shit or talks a lot of shit, they bullshit. They talk about useless information. They make up lies all the time, similar to full of shit. I might say to you, can you please stop talking so much shit, please? Or don't invite John, he always talks shit about a flat earth and how vaccines are dangerous. What's that? What's going on? The president is talking shit again on Twitter? Uh, that's normal. So, talking shit is when you tell lies. When you make stuff up all the time. If you don't believe a person, you can say, hey, stop talking shit. Tell me the truth. Talking shit, telling lies. I shit the bed. I shit the bed in my exam. I couldn't remember a thing. I completely froze. My mind went blank. I failed miserably. I shit the bed on my driving test. I had no idea the lady was going to walk out on the road. Needless to say, I failed. Oh man, I shit the bed when I was making dinner. I burnt everything. I got distracted by Netflix. If you shit the bed at something or in something, you fail terribly. You completely mess it up. You screw it up. You fuck it up. You don't do anything right. Have you ever shit the bed? In or at what? A shit show. A shit show is an event that is poorly organized. A shit show is an event that nobody has control of and nobody know nobody knows what's going to happen. For example, in the United Kingdom at the moment, Brexit is a shit show. It's an absolute shit show. Nobody knows what's going on, and if somebody says they do know what's going on, they are liars. The whole process is a shit show. Nobody knows what will happen, and the Prime Minister just suspended Parliament. There was that music festival last year, Fry Festival. That was an absolute shit show. The owner took all the money and had a big party. Nothing was organized. So, a shit show is an event that nobody has control of, that nobody has properly organized. Shit show. His word ain't worth shit. If a person's word ain't worth shit, you can't trust that person. They are a liar. For example, John's word ain't worth shit. Everything he says is bullshit. If he says he'll help you, don't trust him. Because he'll probably flake out at the last minute. Her word ain't worth shit. She says she'll help you, but she won't. So, if a person's word ain't worth shit, don't trust that person. They are a liar. Ain't worth shit. Beautiful expression. Man, I can't see shit right now. I can't see shit because that sun is blinding. It's very dark. I can't see shit. Where's the flashlight? Where's the torch? If you cannot see shit, you can't see anything. Before I got LASIK surgery on my eyes, I couldn't see shit without my glasses. Now there's not a problem. Now I can see all the shit. So, if you can't see shit, you can't see anything. Why? Well, right now, because the sun is in my eyes and the sun is blinding. That's better. Or if someone gets a flashlight and they put it in your eyes, you can't see shit. You can't see shit. I can't see shit. I couldn't see shit yesterday. You're welcome. Don't give me that shit. This is a 
fucking fantastic expression when you want to tell someone to cut the bullshit and to be goddamn honest about something. If I tell you a lie, for example, I was late because my car broke down, maybe you can say, Ronan, stop, don't give me that shit, I know your car wasn't broken down. Maybe if you go into class and you tell your teacher, Hey teacher, I didn't do my homework because my grandmother died or my cat got hit by a car. I had to eat my dog. Well then your teacher might say to you, You know what? Don't give me that shit. That's bullshit. I don't believe you. So, if you do not believe a person and you are a little bit angry, you can now say, Hey, don't give me that shit. I know what you're telling me is a lie. Don't give me that shit. Beautiful English phrase. Full of shit. If a person is full of shit, they tell lies. They always tell lies and they rarely tell the truth. For example, do not invite John to the party. He is full of shit. He will not stop talking bullshit. Like that time he bet Usain Bolt in a race. That time he climbed Mount Everest in five hours. John is full of shit. Let's face it, we all know somebody who is full of shit. We all have a friend who likes to exaggerate just how great they are or just how much money they have, for example. So, if a person says a lie, you can say, stop, you are full of shit. And if a person repeatedly lies and they always tell bullshit facts, you can say, that guy is full of shit. So, my name is Ronan and I don't think I'm full of shit. But do you know anyone who is full of shit? Hey guys, it's April. I haven't worked out in two weeks. Operation Summer Body has gone to shit. To go to shit. If something goes to shit, it doesn't go the way that you thought it would. It doesn't go according to plan. My essay went to shit. I thought I was doing really well. Then I found out I was writing about the wrong topic. Everything has gone to shit with the pandemic. It's very different now. My plans went to shit when I lost my job and had no more money to fund them. So. If something goes to shit, it fails spectacularly. To be full of shit. If a person is full of shit, it's pretty goddamn negative. It is not positive at all. If a person is full of shit, they tell lies. They rarely tell the truth. They might exaggerate the truth, but it's definitely not 100% honest. For example, please don't invite John to the party. He is full of shit. Last time he was here, he said he climbed Mount Everest in five minutes. I know that that's a lie. Therefore, I can say John is full of shit. If you're talking to another person and they say that they were driving 150 kilometers down the road and they didn't get pulled over after passing the police, I might say, yeah, that story seems to be full of shit. Sorry, I don't believe you. So, if you don't believe a person, if they're always telling you lies, you can say that person is full of shit and it's very negative.